I'm Ninja Tyberg, uh, the writer and director of the film Pleasure. And I'm Sofia Kappel, I'm the lead actress of Pleasure. Are you here for business or pleasure? Pleasure. Do you know what you're here for? Yes. Any no's, do's or don't? No. We're gonna take questions here from this jar and ask each other and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. I'll do the first one. Whose story are we telling and how does it relate to accountability? I mean, I think we're telling a lot of people's stories. But the story that was important for me to tell was the story of a young woman trying to make it. Not necessarily just in porn, because I relate to her just like a lot, just like a young woman in life. There are scenes in the movie where, to me, it's quite obvious that the accountability and the responsibility is not necessarily the individual people, but it's a system. Um, and how we all affect the system and what we do to try to change the system. I remember when, and it was quite recently when we talked and I, I felt so stupid that I didn't realize before how Bella is like our child. Yeah. <laughs> because she's like half you, half me. It's now I'm starting to see how much Bella is also my alter ego. And I didn't really see it before. And it, it's so interesting to see the combination of you and me in her. So in that way, it's like, yeah, her child. <laughs> <laughs> how do you look back on shooting the more intimate scenes? Looking back at it now, I think it's um, crazy that I we didn't have an intimacy coordinator, like that I had to have that responsibility all by myself, because that would have been definitely a full-time job uh, by itself. Describe a moment during filming when you had to give up control and what that moment taught you. I mean, I had to give up control quite a lot. Um, but I think especially when we did the bondage scene, when I was hanging in ropes, because I physically didn't have any control of that moment, so yeah, I really had to let go. Is stop. Red is stop completely. If there's a gag in your mouth, you go, uh, uh, uh. Um, if you need stuff to slow down. Like when I had to let go of control. In a way, I mean, as a director, it's a combination of both, like that you're supposed to be in control, but you're not because like, when it's all the people and everything is just happening, you just also have to let go and go with the flow. But it was, uh, as you might remember, like hard for me. Like I'm so into all the details. So I was like trying to like fix everything all the time. But like when, when you were improvising, for example, when you were in the car with Bear, that was like a very nice way of le letting go of control because then just the movie started happening and I could just watch it. I remember like these amazing lines that you came up with that you were just through improv improvisation. So that's a very like positive experience of like seeing how the film is just like blooming and you're not doing anything. You're just sitting there and watching it happen. Perfect. You are so fucking pretty. I hate you, but you know. All right, are you ready to make a banana happy? This is like an old man's. What was the biggest lesson you learned from working with porn industry professionals as an outsider? Women are strong and not fragile. Yeah, yeah. keep it simple. What did it take for you to trust me? I think it just took honesty. And you were very honest from the beginning and that you really took the time to get to know me. I think that mattered a lot for me because it, it opened up such a huge safe space for me because it didn't, it didn't matter what type of situation we were in because you knew me inside out. So there wasn't any time like during the filming of Pleasure where I felt like if I say that I'm uncomfortable or that I don't like this, that you wouldn't listen to me because you had already proved that you really cared. But I also think like I knew very early on that this movie was your baby. I mean, you've worked on it since I was 13, <laughs> which is really weird. So I think just you giving me the trust of like taking care of you, your baby 
was a lot like enough for me to trust you as well. What does intimacy on set mean to you and how is it achieved? What I immediately think of is when both with, for example, with you and with Sophie, the DOP, when there's a moment when we're all like working together very closely and it's like, I only maybe like I whisper a little thing and it's like everyone is just like, she, she maybe whispers something to me, I whisper something to her or to you, but it's like, you're very, close and intimate and it's very like delicate because it's like you're uh, the moment is so precious like it's not a, a physical intimacy but more like a, a an emotional or like artistic intimacy yeah i mean i remember when we shot the scene after she does her first porn where she goes mm -hmm. to the shower like after a while no one said anything i was just like showering mm. but you were there with the camera, mm. like really close, but that turned out really pretty. Mm. Mm. Name a film that inspired you to take control over the camera. I don't know the title. Um, it's an Almodovar film with um, Gael Garcia Bernal. Bad education, I think. So he was like super femme and super sexy. And I was just so turned on by seeing a man being sexualized the way women usually are and I was like what if this was society what if every day I see all these super sexy men everywhere in makeup and what would that do to me and how would that affect like having sex with men if men would always just be seducing my gaze so that's when I I really understood the importance of representation and how how uh, media images affects us and our identities and our sexualities and I decided to be a filmmaker to change things. People need to know that guy's a dick and he should get blacklisted from the industry because nobody touches my baby girls like that. That's really fucked up. No one talks shit to my girls, right? Joy, see, I got you, girl. I got your back. It's just like, fuck these guys. <laughs> okay, I guess that was it. We should do this again sometime.